to worship you. We worship your name because there is none like you. We give you all the praise because you are wonderful. Come on, we've come, Lord, to say thank you. For the month of February, we are here to say thank you. For the month of January, you led us through to February, we say thank you. For the good election of yesterday, we have said thank you. We have come here to say thank you. We've come with a grateful heart. This last Sunday, in the month of February, we hold the Shabbat Christian Center for Tampa. We are joining our God, the other churches on earth, to say thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for life. Thank you, Lord, for being good to us. Thank you for being a good, good Father. Thank you for our country, Nigeria. Thank you for the new Nigeria that is emerging. Lord, we have got to say thank you. We are grateful because we know that we are so ever we celebrate you for all God. Always appreciate that. Father, we say thank you. Father, we worship your name. Father, Thank you for the new beginnings, Lord. Thank you, oh God, for the new beginning. In this month of creating a new beginning. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Because you are creating a new beginning even in our country, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Blessed be the name of our God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have worshipped. Let the believer turn that believing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Put those hands together for Jesus and gladly have your seat. Hallelujah. Amen. Our God is good. What have we come here to do today? You're all welcome to our end of month Thanksgiving service. It is time of thanking God. It's a time we come with a grateful heart, not to complain, but to thank God for the good and marvelous things he has done in our lives. We've come to say, Lord, for what you have done, we are grateful. Prevention God has not done everything. That's why you're still alive. The reason why you're still alive is because he's not done with you. But for the ones he has done, we have come to join our voices together to say, Imela. Thank you, Jesus, for everything you have done. In that same spirit, let's open our Bibles to the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. Verse 1 to 4, rather. This is our month of creating a new beginning. Say, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. There is something that happens when the Spirit of the Lord moves. The Bible says, When the Spirit of the Lord moved upon the face of the water, then God spoke, Let there be light, and there was light. The Spirit of God is going to come upon you today. Even as you thank God, God is going to move upon every situation, upon every stagnancy, upon everything that has kept you in a position. It has kept you because it needs a moving. There is a force that comes from the Spirit of the Lord. When that force comes upon you, you cannot be in a place. When that force comes upon you, you cannot remain stagnant. When that force comes upon you, your problems are old story. When the force comes upon you, all you can do is to lift up your voice and shout for joy. Because the people that knew you before, they will not know you again. That is the force that comes from the Spirit of the Lord. And the way you activate this force, the way you activate this movement of the Spirit is by thanking God. The Bible says, ten lepers we are cleansed, but only one came to say thank you. When that one came to say thank you, there was a force that came from Jesus. Jesus spoke to the man and said, go, thy faith has made thee whole. That was the man that was made whole. You have come this month, this morning to say thank you as you have come to thank God for what he has done, for what he has done in your life. Provincial sure he hasn't done all, but as you keep on thanking him, the spirit of the Lord will move upon every other situation, every other areas of your life that needs to be settled. That spirit will make you to testify in the mighty name of Jesus. Rise on your feet. I see the spirit of the Lord moving on every sickness, moving on every poverty, moving on every backwardness. Whatsoever has kept you stagnant, uh, the spirit of the Lord is moving right now, giving you health, giving you life. You're not just going to be moving anyhow. You're going to be living life. You're going to be enjoying life. The spirit of the Lord is moving upon you right now. Lift up your voice and just begin to thank God. Begin to thank Him because when you praise Him, when praises go up, blessings 
something. Say, Lord, we thank you for the mood of your spirit. Lord, we are grateful.